Watch you guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at three ways to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. Now I purchased this little PC and it does have Windows 10 Home on it. So I'm going to show you three ways on how to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. So as you can see here we have Windows 10 Home on this system. So this video has been sponsored by a CD Key Sales and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first go over to their website and sign up for an account once you've done that you can do a search for windows 10 pro in the search box or you can use the links in the video description we're looking for windows 10 pro oem version for global but if you want a retail version there is one of those there but they're a little bit more expensive so let's click on the oem version here for windows 10 pro and we can then see uh, how to get this key so click on there and it will take you to this page here and you'll see there is a buy now button Always check to see if the region is covered in your area to make sure you can use this key in that area. Also, once you've done this, you are going to have to do a fresh install with this particular product key. You cannot upgrade the normal way, which I'll show you a bit later on in the video on how to go Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. So first, click the Buy Now button. Once we hit the Buy Now button, you can enter my promo code in and get a discount. So use promo code capital B capital R 09 and basically apply. Once you've done that, you'll see the price drop down. You can choose which language you want to choose here. I've got uh, United States here. I'm just going to go to Great Britain and basically you'll see £11.38. This can change over time. So always check, submit order and then choose your payment option. I'm going to go PayPal as always. Click on this and pay now. And this will allow me to pay for my key. Once I hit pay now, I can put my payment details into PayPal and click log in and then pay for my product key. Payment process will go through and your order has been successful and your payment has been taken. And you should now have a product key which you can use to activate. So let's go into our account settings here and basically we will see our key there. So I'm going to go into our account settings. You can see. It says view uh, key or code, and you can click on there. And this is the one we've just completed. Click on here, and this will open up another page down the bottom, and you'll be able to see our key. This is on my purchased orders. And then down the bottom, you should see get the key. So click on here, and this will then show you your key that you've just purchased. So let's click on this, and then you can see your key. Now I'll quickly blur this key out so you can't see it because it's my key that I used on this machine. So basically I'll show you here down the bottom. This will be your key. Once you get your key, you're good to go. You can then use this key to activate Windows 10 Pro. You can't use this key to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. You will receive an email of confirmation to say your purchase has gone through. And what we need to do now is create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 Pro on it so we can then install this. So I'm going to go over to the Windows 10 website here and download the media creation tool. You will need a flash drive 8 gigabytes or more so you can uh, copy the Windows 10 files over. And once you've created your USB flash drive, you need to boot to that device. And you can do that on your PC. You can see this is an Acer PC. I'm booting to that USB flash drive and loading up Windows 10 here. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole installation process. I'll just show you the beginning so you can see it. You'll see something like this. Click Next. Click Install. And once you've done this, you will then be able to see uh, the next bit, which is basically selecting what version of Windows you want. Now, of course, we're running Windows 10 Home here, but we want to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. This will wipe the whole drive clean, so you need to select Windows 10 Pro, agree to their terms and conditions, and then we can move on to the next stage. Let me just quickly do this. Hit Custom Install, and I'm going to delete all of the partitions here because it did previously have Windows 10 Home on it, so I'm going to delete all of the partitions. If you have other drives plugged into your computer, make sure you're not deleting any of those partitions, otherwise you'll lose your data. So basically what we're going to do here is install Windows 10 Pro. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and install this on our computer. Once we get this installed on the PC, we'll be able to then go ahead and activate. 
our Windows 10 Professional. So now we're going to go ahead and activate this version of Windows. You can click on this link here and it will take you to the activation page, or you can click Start button, Settings, Update and Security, and then Activation. So you should now see activation here. What we're going to do is click on here. You can see we're on no activated version of Windows. So I need to click on change product key. Click on here. I can then enter my product key, which we just purchased. I'll quickly paste this into this box here. And then we can click on next once we've done that. So once we've done this, we're ready to go ahead with the activation. So click next. Make sure you have got internet activity on that computer. And then once you're ready, you can click activate. This will connect to the Microsoft servers to check the key to make sure it's legit. And when it's uh, found the key is legit, it will then give you your activation. As you can see here, we have now activated our Windows 10 Pro. That is the only way you can get Windows 10 Pro with using uh, that site that I promote on this channel. Now, there is other ways of getting uh, Windows 10 Pro and I'll show you how to do that as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that in this video as well. So go down to the start button here, go to settings. From settings, we're going to go up to update and security. So let's click on update and security. And once we click on here, we need to get all the latest updates. And you can see there's quite a few updates available. I want to make sure that I've updated this system. So go ahead and install all of these on your computer and this will get your computer ready. Once you've done this, you can go back to start settings, update and security to make sure there's no more updates. If there is just click on install now and get them fully updated. Once you've done this, we can then go to the activation, click on go to Microsoft store. And this will then take you to the Microsoft store where you can upgrade to windows 10 pro. You can see price here. You can click buy now, give all your payment details and purchase your key this way. Or if you already have a key that you've already purchased, which is a retail key, or you've got one of those uh, COA stickers, which you purchased when you bought your Windows 10 uh, from a store, you can use that key. So you can click on here. I have Windows 10 Pro key. So if you purchase a retail key some time ago and you're not using it, or you've deactivated it on another computer, you can use that here. You can use retail keys as many times as you like on different computers, but only at one computer at a time. OEM keys are locked to that PC. So once you use your OEM key, it will be locked to that computer. So once you've purchased your key, you can put it in here and you can click on next to go ahead and activate it. You cannot use the keys which we did at the beginning using this method, it will not work. You have to do a fresh install. So once you're happy and you've got the right key in here, this needs to be a Windows 10 Pro key or a Pro version key that you are using to activate. So once you do this, click next, and we are going to be upgrading our edition of Windows from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. Once you do this, you can see it's going to upgrade the system and then it will activate that system and it will then be Windows 10 Pro activated. That is using the go to Microsoft store method. The other method we can use is the change product key method. So let me quickly show you this one. Same method, same process, put your key in and you will then click next. It will then give you the same options and then upgrade your system from Windows 10 home to Windows 10 Pro. The very first method I showed you, you cannot use that key doing this method. It will not work. You need to use a different key for this method. So once you've got your product key, paste it in and click next. Again, these need to be Windows 10 Pro compatible keys. Otherwise you will not be able to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. Click next. It will give you the option to upgrade your additional windows, click start, and this will start the upgrading process and take you to Windows 10 Pro, and it will then activate it. It's that simple. So you've got three ways of upgrading from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. 
I've never liked Windows 10 Home, and if I find it on a computer, I'll always upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro. It just gives me much more control over that operating system with group policy and other settings that I like to use. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Before we go, big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.